What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we are looking at the action which is create a contact, or create contact. This action allows you to create contact in your Outlook. So previously, if you've um, used Outlook as sort of a CRM system to store your contact details and things like that, so you could have it on your phone and things like that, that's usually what contacts in Outlook for. Most people do invest in a proper CRM system instead of using uh, Outlook to store contacts, but it is another option if you do need it. So let's take a look at this action. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a, uh, a manual trigger to trigger this flow um, because we don't need anything from uh, Outlook. And uh, we can click on new step. And then we can wait for this to load. There we go. Uh, and then we can choose this Microsoft 365. Uh, I know it's Microsoft. No, it's not that one. It's, it's Office 365. Oh, they have renamed the connector now. It's now the Microsoft 365 Outlook connector. How interesting. Um, brand new. Uh, they finally, it was called the Office 365 connector. It's now called the Microsoft 365 connector. I have to rename my videos. Um, anyway, so it's now the Microsoft 365 uh, for Outlook connector, and we have this option, this action here, which is create contact v2. So if I choose this, um, I'm instantly given quite a long list of things that I can add. Uh, we'll just go through uh, a few of the key ones, and then I'll point out a couple of bits. So first one, we've got the folder ID. So this is the folder where you want to create this contact. So again, inside of Outlook, there is the ability to create contact folders or create folders inside your contact list to kind of filter and like separate out your contacts. So we have to choose one that is a required parameter, and I'm just trying to choose this one that says contacts. It's the default one. Um, every Outlook should have a, a default contact list. Then we have given name. So this is the contacts name um, or the name that we're going to give them in the contact list. So I'm going to put in Frank, uh, no, Frank Castle. Um, we do have telephone one, telephone or like home phone. The, it is a required field. So even if you don't have a home telephone number for them, you just have a mobile number or, or a business number, this is the field that you need to populate it into. So uh, again, we're not taking any dynamic content. We're not taking anything from any other systems right now. We're just showing how this works and um, we can do this. We can add multiple phones as well. Um, so multiple home phones, multiple um, email addresses and things like that by clicking on add new item. Um, I did notice that um, home phone too, when you add it, is, is another required field. So I thought that was interesting. We do also have the ability to switch this input into an array as well. So if you do have something a bit more dynamic, where you're not just putting in a single line, it could be multiple ones, you can, uh, you can actually put it into an array and you can have all the telephone numbers in here, which is really useful. Um, ID is the unique identifier for the ID, so when I fill this in, um, this would usually be, be used uh, in data that we're getting back, so you don't need to pre-fill this in. And we can also choose a, dis a display name, so if the contact's display name is different from the given name, so we can say this is like Frankie, uh, Frankie C is his, is his display name, um, and we can do email, so we can say this is uh, fr um, frank.castle uh, at pun, uh, punisher, not pun, publisher, punisherinc.com. Um, so we can add, oh, uh, that's the name, put it in the wrong field. Um, we should put Frank C. Um, we can have com company name in here, so we could have uh, Punisher Inc. And we can add all these things in all these fields. So we do have fields for mobile phone, postcode, city, all these things. We have show advanced options as well. So we can have uh, things like job title, uh, title, nickname, birthday. You know, there's lots and lots of different fields in here that you can you can add things to. But let's just test this out and see how this works. So I'm going to click on test. I'll perform a trigger action, save and test. This is just a manual trigger flow, so I just need to run the flow. Run, click done, and we can see the flow run successfully. So we can see it's created that contact with these details. If I switch over to my Outlook, um, in here, I can see we have this new contact. So we have Frank Castle. Uh, so we have it in here. We've got things like email in here. Oh no, it's email that you can just send it to people. We've got like email address in here, 
uh, we've got the home telephone number, we've got the company in here. Um, so we've got like a load of different things that we can add in here and get the details from. So I do think this is useful. Um, you know, I've worked with companies that have used uh, Outlook as a kind of way to um, handle contacts and things like that. So it's good to have kind of contacts in your Outlook, um, but not everyone um, uses it. I, I did work with one company that um, they synchronized their contacts from the CRM system to their Outlook so they could then use it when they're on the go um, instead of just using the, the CRM app. Uh, but it is another is another use for it. So yeah, I hope this was useful. Um, this is a this is a cool um, addition to the uh, the Microsoft 365 Outlook connector. Uh, I'm gonna have to rename this flow now, uh, so I say the right thing at the start of videos. Uh, so this is this is a really cool thing. Uh, but as always, I'd like to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below what you use this uh, action for, um, and if you do use it, or if you don't use it, you know pros and cons. Let me know. Um, if you did like this video and you thought it was useful, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.